Once again, I am pleased to announce the establishment of a $30 billion fund for global climate solutions. This fund is specially designed or specifically designed to bridge the climate finance gap, ensuring availability and accessibility as well as affordability at scale. Its objective is to stimulate the raising and investment of $250 billion by 2030. Ladies and gentlemen, before I close, I would like to tell you a short story. It's a story about a pioneer that believed in loving nature and, its, and his land and preserving its resources a leader that worked hand in hand with his people in order to cultivate this great land. He was always aware that the true wealth is the people. Our, our accomplishments stand witness for all that he has set the ground for in order to achieve a future that is brighter than ever. He is the leader, Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan, founding father of the UAE. He stands as a symbol of its civilization and a pitiful the, the vital role played by him in order to create and shape the past, present, and future of this land. Thank you. Your Highnesses and Excellencies, esteemed guests, Your Excellency, the Secretary General of the United Nations, esteemed guests, peace be upon you all. I welcome you all to the UAE and to this COP28. I also would like to extend my thanks for you attending this summit. This meeting comes at a time when the world faces many challenges, the most significant and crucial of which is the climate change and its impact on all aspects of life. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed guests, the OAE has an established record in climate action. We have worked over the past decades in order to diversify our economy and build our capabilities in renewable and clean energy sectors. We have set a national pathway to net zero by 2050. The OAE has also been committed to a 40% reduction in emissions by 2030. To date, the OAE has invested $100 billion in financing climate action with a main focus on renewable and clean energies. We have also committed to invest in approximately $130 billion, $130 billion over the next seven years. Esteemed guests, when we committed 
to hosting COP28, we pledged to bring the world together to unite, work and deliver. We are finding practical ways to accelerate the world's transition to low emission growth economy. The lack of readily available and affordable climate finance has long been one of the biggest obstacles in advan advancing climate action globally. Therefore, I am pleased to announce the establishment of a $30 billion fund 